Hi, this is Miss Massey, your school librarian. I'm going to introduce you to our new reading challenge and your summer reading assignment this year. We're introducing a new reading challenge for the 2020-21 school year. It's called the 20 Book Challenge. The challenge is to read 20 different kinds of books based on the list we've created. It provides a lot of choice and may help guide you when you're choosing Take 10 books next year. The goal is to finish all 20, but I'm working on some prizes for finishing 5, 10, or 15 as well. We've built this new challenge right into summer reading so you can get started this summer. So this is the 20 book challenge um, square board. It has all of the different challenge um, prompts for you. So award-winning book, a nonfiction book, a book published before you were born, um, a book about true events, and many others. And the way this is gonna work with student summer reading is all students in grades nine through 12 will select one of the squares from the challenge as their summer reading choice. And you can read any age appropriate books that meet the criteria for the square. So sorry, no picture books or elementary chapter books. You need to read something that is more on your reading level. When we return to school in the fall, You'll have a writing assignment just like we have in previous years and the first week of school in your English class is when that will happen. Um, to prepare for this writing assignment, you might want to annotate or take notes in your book. We hope that this will allow you more choice so you can read a great book that's just right for you. And we've included a list of recommendations for each square to get you started, but these are just recommendations. You don't have to read any of the books listed. If you would like to look at a list, just click the link for the square and then click the bookmark to go, that, go to that list. If you need a special recommendation for any reason, you can email me and I will do my best to help you find the right book. All advanced students will read an extra book in addition to their free choice. For advanced English 9 students, you may choose between a book set in another country or a book set in the future in addition to your free choice. For advanced 10 students, you can choose between a book recommended by a teacher or a book set in a past century in addition to your free choice. Our English teachers have provided a few recommendations for our list, but you can read a book recommended by any teacher. For AP language students, you will read an autobiography or a memoir in addition to your free choice. For AP literature students, you may choose a second square of your choice. So any, any second square is fine. For dual enrollment English students, you may choose between an autobiography or a memoir or a nonfiction book in addition to your free choice. If you have any questions at all about your summer reading requirements, you can email me or your English teacher. We're gonna do our best to help you out. And we hope you enjoy having more choice in your summer reading. Beginning in June, I will be posting book recommendations and the occasional book talk on the HTHS Library Instagram and the summer reading page. Follow at HTHS Library on Instagram to check those out and have a great summer.